build this now with both buying and selling all the way through. So we'd like to be use this as inversion. High probability inversion fair value gaps, um, if you're wondering, will form in market maker models, first of all, and will form once it's completely filled with buying and selling. Candle body is preferred. All the gaps that form over here should be treated as inversion. Obviously, we're going to see retracements off of it, but all the gaps that form, you want to see retracements. Um, the second thing you're going to be looking for is clear buying and selling to happen through the gap. So the gap is up here in premium. We're looking at a market maker buy model. You're going to see a retracement off of this gap. Okay, we're in premium. That's low hanging fruit objective. We're going to be retracing most likely into a parent or child dealing range. So a child dealing range would be between this low and this high. All right, that's what we saw with the 930 with the 10 a.m news you're going to see retracement off of this maybe some maybe it's up to here okay well we'll do an example maybe you see retracement right off the discount end buying and selling all the way only met up to here we trace into discount and then we fly up again we may see another retracement off of this leg or it could just be filling back and forth then when we see this entire gap filled with buying and selling it's efficiently filled once we trade and close above it this should be holding as support we're going to see a tap fly off same thing a rule same rules applied here we may trade into it Maybe we'll trade all the way up to the discount end or the premium end for this one, all the way with candle bodies. And then we see the retracement into a child dealing range. If you see candle bodies all the way through here, we're expecting two things, right? We're expecting speed up to the high because it's efficiently delivered now. So we can see speed all the way through. And then if we were to retest it and the draw on liquidity maybe is not met yet, then it should hold here right at the premium end. Let me tap it and then fly up, right? I'm looking at the left side of the chart. So the left side of the chart, if you zoom out here, left side meaning left side of the curve. So if the smart universal is down here, everything to the left of it is the left side chart. Everything to the right of it, right side. And you can see if you basically go to any time frame, well, we'll go to the 15 minute gap here. Tiny gap in here too. We gotta look through it. We'll study these two, okay? And we'll be done looking at these purple boxes. Even a gap in here, but I won't look at this one. Here's another example where we filled it all the way up. So then you can trim it to here. Expect speed through this range, right? Between this, between this high and this high, there's no gaps. We see on the 15 minute chart. What do you see instead? Speed all the way through. And then we get a reaction off this gap. This one has a wick all the way through. So we're still expecting this is inefficiently delivered. For us to retrace within that range potentially up to the premium end of the wick go back to the one minute so candle bodies basically all the way up to the premium end there watch how we react now candle bodies filling it filling it now look perfect buying and selling all the way through the gap buying selling now as we close above it closure right there with this candle even right here with this candle if you want to confirm it we should see the inversion for value gap hold price if we close above it there do we ever return lower no we have an order block right here that also should support price taps into the inversion for value gap taps into the inversion order or into the order block the bullish order block and we fly same thing here now this one is a little bit different um it's still the same thing as this it just looks a little different okay we have all of these wicks are going to be buying and selling on different um time frames so through it with buying, came back down. Through it with buying, selling, selling all the way through, buying all the way through, another leg of selling, right? So there's still selling going on in here. It just doesn't print on the one minute. That makes sense. So if you're still seeing buying and selling through here, it just doesn't print. If you drop down a lower time frame, this is all going to be buying and selling. Like on the 15 second, I just don't have access to it. This is all going to be buying and selling. This is going to be efficiently delivered. We close above. We have an order block here that lines up with it and we have the gap does ever this price ever return lower than the gap no taps into it taps into the order block we respect it same thing here buying selling all the way through the gap we close above it right here do we close below the gap no tap into it tap into the order block boom so you could use the order blocks that form and you can use the inversion for value gaps as a high probability trade setup in a market maker model. I hope that makes sense.
Um, that's that's how I use high probability order blocks. And hopefully, you know, you can find some value in that because sometimes when you're looking at version gaps, you're just marking them out to mark them out and you don't understand how they're actually going to be used. That's how they're going to be used. Okay, so we're looking at three different things. We're looking at order blocks that forms in that range as an entry opportunity. We're looking at how much buying and selling that happened through the gap and are we going to see a retracement that happens within the gap before we actually close past it? And then three would be, are there PD arrays um, that line up within that gap that we can use in tandem with the inversion as the three PD array rule? Obviously, four would be the overarching overarching um, market maker model that we're in. If we're not in the market maker model, don't expect clean inversion gaps like we see here. Obviously, everything's going to be a market maker model, but we're not going to sometimes see super clean market maker models or super clean sorry inversion for value gaps that can be predicted but, but like even like this like if we look at this tiny tiny market maker model here this is the one i see traded look at this gap right here and there's kind of a lot of annotations on the chart i apologize but buying and selling buying and selling high resistance liquidity run in here we got the order block tap buying all the way up selling all the way down basically down to this wick then we close above it right here right do we return below the inversion for value gap no do we tap into an order block yes order block formed within the inversion for value gap closed above tapped into it there also within if you look down right at the bottom we're at 902 but still within the macro time take this Still 38 points up to the buy side. Even here, it's 25 points. Plenty of room to run. Even though we're long, going long in premium, that's still plenty of room. And if, 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 I if you held it, you're seeing a huge run up there, 166. Hey!